how can we change the color of the existing backdrop in Pixamate Pro. So here I am with a rather simple image. First thing I'm going to do is a simple duplicate. So I'm going to right click, secondary click on my main layer and I'll make a duplicate of that. All right, and now from this layer at the top, I'm going to remove the backdrop. There are several ways of doing that, but I think this is a really simple image so I can use this default remove backdrop button here at the top right. It will detect the subject and remove the backdrop for you. If the image is simple like this one, it should be perfect, all right? And now I got the original image plus only the subject of the photo. So head back to the layer below and we're going to apply a color adjustment on that layer. So that's the third tool on the list here on the right side. The multiple color adjustments, we want to search for one called hue saturation. You can turn it on and off. All right, hue saturation and then try to move the top slider. Take a look. The color of the backdrop is changing and the subject of the image is on separate layer. So that's protected. It's original color. All right, so we just use that. We can change the saturation as well and brightness of that color. And now we got a brand new version of the image. So don't forget to save it as the new image. File, export, and you can save it as JPEG or PNG. What if the image is a bit more complicated? It's similar, but the selection of the subject may require additional steps. So first I would do a proper duplicate. All right. And now, now we need to select the subject and move it into separate layer, move it to safety. I click here on the right on quick selection and this will give me several options. And now I can manually point to the subject. You can also kick this off by clicking here, select the subject. All right, and now you can use add or subtract from that selection. We can subtract, we can minus if too much is selected or we can add to it if not the whole person is selected. For example, here, this area should not be selected. So I'm going to subtract from selection, subtract from selection. Okay, same here. Can you see those letters that are selected? I don't want that to happen. Okay, and other way around. This should be a part of it. So I change to add and I need to add this and then subtract that. It may require a few tries. Okay. Let's zoom in even closer. We can use the slider at the top to zoom in really close. Then you can press spacebar to pan camera around when you are zooming in to do a final inspection. All right, this is the area I need to add as well. Okay, and subtract this little tiny piece here. All right, all good. And now with this manual check and kind of semi-manual selection, we do the very same thing. We're going to, now we're going to remove the backdrop. So I'm going to select and mask. And in the mask mode, we can decide what will be the output. We want a mask on existing layer, apply. All right, let's take a look. That's the subject. And now we can apply color adjustments on the backdrop layer. Same thing, search for hue saturation and you can move the top slider to change color only of the backdrop while the subject of the image remain in the very same color. We can even turn it black and white. If you select this color adjustment, now the backdrop is black and white. 
All right, so that's how you can adjust the color of the backdrop without adjusting the color of the subject. Simply move it to a separate layer. I hope this was helpful. See you in the next one.